But I said the same thing about the front blunt, of course. Oh, that was actually pretty easy. That was first try. What is up guys, welcome back to another session video and as I promised, a video where we'll take a look at the controls for all the flat ground tricks and grinds. And you know all the other stuff like pushing and mongo pushing, reverts. I didn't really show off the reverts in my first impressions video, so we'll definitely take a closer look at those in this video. But hopefully with this controller mapping you can also see how much pressure I'm putting on the triggers, so for stuff like yeah, spinning in the air and all of the revert stuff you can get a more clear vision of how to do that stuff also i'm sorry if the quality is a little bit down i had to turn my settings down a lot just to be able to record all of this at once but let's just get into it as you guys probably know we have our session marker on down on the d-pad if we move away from that we can just hit up and go right back but you can also press y if you just want to run away like you just saw and press y again to get back on your board and here we are skating around and we can turn with the triggers all of this is stuff you know, I'm sorry, we just kind of got to cover everything I feel like. Now currently I have my system set up for right stick is right foot, left stick is left foot. You can also change that to the simplified version where right stick is always the back foot and the left stick is always the front foot. I found that very confusing so we're just gonna go with right stick right foot, left stick left foot. So for the ollie I just crouch down with the right stick and then slide that left stick up. To do a nollie we're gonna do the opposite, take the left stick up. That's our left foot up on the nose and then we'll slide down with the back foot, which is the right stick. Next step, you guys probably already know it, flips. So just the basic ones, the high pop tricks are kick flips where we slide out to the side. We have the heel flip where we slide out to the other side. If we want to do those nollie, we just put our left stick up and then we slide to the left for the nollie flip and to the right for the nollie heel. In the skate guide, you can find answers to how to do all the flip tricks in the game. Also the grinds. And as you can see, they have different qualities. So the tricks we just did, ollie, kickflip and heel flip, those are all high pops. As well as the backside and frontside pop shove it, which we'll get to in a second. Then we have the mid pop tricks, which are all the varials and 360 pop shove it's. And then we have the low pops, which are tray flips, lasers, 360 hard flip and 360 inward heel. So for the last high pops, we have the backside pop shove, which is just crouching down with your back foot. So right stick down and then we got to slide it up to the left while the left stick goes straight up. I didn't do anything there. There we go. And the front side shove it. We just got to scoop our foot the other way. And then the same thing with the left stick going straight up. And just so you know the settings I'm playing with right now, we got the body rotation mode on pressure, catch mode is just on auto, and then I normally play with the scoop input mode on small, that means for a 360 pop shove it you only have to swipe the stick as much as a 180 pop shove it on the normal mode. This means 180 shove it's are very sensitive, but I kind of like that. We'll play with it on normal for the rest of the video though. But for the mid pops, let's just start out with the barrel flip, so we're just combining the scoop of a backside pop shove it and then we're flicking out left and instead of flicking straight up with the left stick. For a hard flip, we're scooping our foot just like a frontside shove it, but we're flicking the front foot out to the left like a kick flip. Kinda like that, or actually pretty much like that. Inward heel and barrel heel, just the same thing. We just gotta flick the left stick out to the other direction. Oh yeah, the last mid pops are the 360 shove it. So this time we just wanna scoop a little bit more than the 180 pop shove it. So kinda like this. And then for the low pops, which is just combinations of the 360 shove it's with either kick flips or heel flips. So for a tray flip, we wanna scoop a lot and then flick out to the left. For a laser flip, we wanna just do the reverse of that. So we wanna scoop the other way and flick the other way. So by now you should know that a 360 hard flip would look like this and a 360 inward heel would be like that. So when it comes to spinning, let's just do a 180. So I'm gonna crouch down and then I'm gonna hold the trigger down a little bit and then just do an ollie. That was a little bit under rotated, but if you tap the triggers twice before landing in that direction, so that mean double tap in the left trigger, we could have actually reverted that out and made it a full 180. Let's just see if we can do that. Okay, I didn't even get any spin on that, but as you could see, we got it with the revert. Let's just clean it up though. We'll actually add in a kickflip. Okay, sometimes you do late reverts like that. 
I'm also still learning this. It feels a lot different from the reverts in the original dev builds where we tried it out the first time. See, that was way too much. I gotta watch this back and see how much I put pressure on the triggers, actually. That's kind of interesting that I can see it now. That was a really good frontside flip. Now, if we want to do 360 tricks, I kind of just crouch down and then hold the trigger all the way. And then revert in the end, double tap in the trigger. Let's add a heel flip to that. Really nice DC reverted frontside 360 heel. So hopefully this kind of makes sense. I mean, we can combine this with any of the high, mid or low pops. So if we want to do maybe a tray flip where we spin backside, I don't know how far you would get on that. You could actually do a 720 Gazelle flip on flat. Let's just try to do that. Oh, that was so good. Hopefully this answered all of your flat ground or just flip trick in general questions. That made no sense. But I think we're ready to move on to the grind. So if we want to do a frontside 50-50 on this ledge right here, we got to ollie and then put the sticks in the opposite directions going. I think you have to do it up and down. I actually don't know. Let's try it the opposite way. So if we do... Oh no, then it's just going to do a frontside board slide to a lip slide. Wow, okay, I did not know you could do that. But that means you have to do it this way for the 50-50. Oh, I think we're kind of in a feeble. But as you can see, my left stick goes up and my right stick goes down. A frontside board slide is just like a backside power slide tweak. I already talked about that in my very first gameplay video. But we can just do it again and then after that we'll do a frontside lip slide. So here we have the front board. I'm gonna turn with the triggers to get out of it. I like to do that on the uh, 90 degree slide tricks. So here we have the lip slide. And I slid out a little too early, kind of caught it in a smith grind, but yeah, you get the idea. For a frontside nose slide, we're only gonna use the left stick when we're in the air. So I'm just pressing it like that. If we don't press it, the tail's gonna fall down like you just saw. And you can just slide out of the tricks like I do, or just rotate, or you can actually get a pop out. So that's by hitting the stick in that direction. Because you gotta imagine that the board is turned to the side. So instead of doing a flip when I flick the stick out, to this side here he's actually just doing an ollie for a tail slide we're just moving the uh, back foot to the right in towards the ledge let's just try that again shall we so we'll get the ollie and then this ledge doesn't like tail slides it seems like is that the uh, my fault no it just doesn't like tail slides how about we do it backside so this is just gonna be the opposite i'm gonna take the right stick to the left Okay, that worked a little bit better. Very sketchy landing, but I just wanted to get the slide. It does annoy me a little bit that I haven't gotten the frontside tail slide though, but I guess there we have it. And a kickflip out. For a 5-0, my favorite trick in real life, we're just pressing the right stick down. So like this, ollie out. For the nose grind, we're just putting the left stick up. Oh, that's... Not the best, but we got it. Next up, let's just do a frontside crooked grind. So we are gonna tweak it up and a little bit, what's it called, diagonally? And then if we don't wanna do a nolly heel out, we are also gonna pop out a little bit diagonally with the right stick. So I think that would be, nope. That's how you would do it. Okay, I'm learning stuff as well in this video. Now for a frontside over crook, if you really wanna call it that, I normally don't, but we're just tweaking it in the other direction. What else do we have? Oh yeah, we have the suskies, or actually this is just a salad, right? Not the best salad, we can tweak it out there a little bit and get a heel flip out apparently. But if we just want to land in it clean, we'll do it a bit more in the air. Ah, it's not that much of a salad, I'll admit that. But maybe we can get it the other way, I don't know if you'd call that an over salad. Oh, that was kind of it, almost just a front blunt. Oh, there we go. I don't know why that did a kickflip out. For a smith grind, I think we're supposed to do the same input for a 5-0 with the back foot. Wow. But then tweak the front foot, which is the left stick, up and left diagonally. Come on. Why won't it grind? I'll probably just need to jump on a little further down. Okay, there we go. And for frontside feeble, we just want to change the left stick to going up right diagonally. So kind of like this. 
Oh, that was a lot of pop out. And the last two slides I can think of are the blunt slides. I don't know if you can do that on this ledge. Okay, we got up there somehow, but it might be a little bit tall for that. We'll see if I can't get an angle. Oh, I don't know why that did an inward heal out. I haven't really done too many blunt slides. I'll be completely honest with you. Okay, we're just gonna take that front blunt. I don't know if I can get a front side nose blunt though. But I said the same thing about the front blunt, of course. Oh, that was actually pretty easy. That was first try. I feel like we also need to go over the manual. So to do a regular manual, you just hold your back foot in between the center of the stick and the bottom. So kind of in this area here, then we can like balance it, make it look really cool. If you place it all the way down, you end that combo. Same thing if we just release the stick, then he's just gonna put the wheels down. So let's just get a manual on this. There we go. And for a nose manual, you're just gonna take your front foot, which is in my case, the left stick, and we're gonna place that between the center and fully up. Same thing like before, if we press it all the way, that's gonna end the manual. And the same thing if we just release, that's gonna end the nose manual. But yeah, let's just get it right here. So an ollie. Oh, going a little bit quick. That was more like bonk. Maybe uh, two pushes are enough for this. Very nice. Quick little kickflip nose manual. Nollie heal for bout. Wow. But I think that was most of the controls to go over in this game. Controls for at least the basic tricks. I mean, you can add 180s into manuals, 180s into grind and all that and do a lot of other stuff. Wait a minute, I forgot about two grind tricks, but it's because I never think about these. But we gotta do the willies. So a backside willy grind should be a nose grind. And then the back foot is going diagonally down to one of the sides. There we go, backside willy grind. Let's try to get a backside over willy. That gotta be a really weird trick when it's like not on transition. Yeah, but I think I've talked about everything you really need to know about the controls in this game. So you should be ready to get out there and learn this. And if you've never played a game where you turn with the triggers, that can of course be kind of frightening, but I think you just gotta go into it with a positive mindset. When I first tried Session, I knew that's how you control, so I had been playing around with Skate 3 for a little bit, trying to like grab while I was turning, kind of like this. And I thought this is gonna be cool, I mean it's gonna be fun to learn something new that you've never tried before. I tried to think back to when I was learning to play first person shooters on I think a Nintendo 64, we were playing like, uh, was it one of the James Bond games? I don't even remember, but it was just... It was so fun to sit there and have a controller in your hand and actually try to learn to walk around and look and all that. And I had the exact same experience once I tried Session. So if you just kind of go into it with that mindset, like there's a way of controlling in racing games, first person shooters. Well, now you have another way of controlling in a game that you've mastered or it's going to take a while for Session. I mean, I'm not even close to being there yet. And I don't know what I'm doing right now, because we're not... <laughs> I can't even talk, but we, we were never gonna make it onto that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, I would of course appreciate a like as always. And then I'll just see you guys in the next video. So until then, peace out.